Hi there. So in this video, we are going to talk about PHP email function. So that function is uh, clearly uh, used to send an email. And this is the syntax. So mail is the function and to first parameter is to. So to whom we want to send an email. So this will be an email ID, email subject content and headers so what are headers i'll show you uh, during the mail function explanation so yeah, i'm gonna continue with my this repo and i have created one file called mail.php and in the mail first parameter is to so add this email id I want to send an email this is the subject email subject and this is the email message and I have assigned this into a variable so that we know if mail is sent or not so as this is this works on local too but we have to configure some mail catcher for local but uh, uh, on the live server, it always work, works. Sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this file to my website and I will show you uh, the mail function execution. So let me upload this file. and uh, let me access this file so my site is billyplugins.com slash mail.php so it is showing true that means mail has been sent so let's wait for the mail this is my email id So yeah, this is the subject, uh, my PHP mail function, which is this. Then message is hello PHP world. So this is the message. And you will see this uh, random stuff. So my site is hosting at this hostinger. So it uh, by default shows hostinger's server so uh, now let's talk about header so uh, we, we see this thing over here this thing so this comes from the header so if we want to change this thing we have to use a header so let's try to use header and see what happens so for that let's use something like this and let's add fourth parameter headers so let's see what is there in the headers so we are defining mime version 1.0 then content type text html and uh, this from so uh, when we did not define from it shows us uh, related to the server now we are defining this into the header so it should show us over here so let's let's save this and upload it again and let's execute this again and now let's wait for the mail so 
so the mail has arrived and as you can see now we are sh it is showing us this email id as a form email id from email id because we have defined this email id over here so this is the use of headers there are lots of headers you can use based on your requirement so here is the mail function i will provide this link into the description section and yeah headers are optional but i think you will see some more example related to headers over here so yeah this is how php mail function works let me know if you have doubt thanks for watching